solve 4x in the equation ax minus x equals c. So the first thing that I'm, that I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a line on the equal sign because I want to separate the left from the right. I want the x alone, and so I'm going to circle the x's. So I have a problem. The problem is that I have two x's. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and separate the x's. So how you do that is you're going to go ahead and do a parenthesis. Okay, now on the inside goes what is different, and on the outside goes what is the same. So what is the same here? X. X is the same for these two terms. So I'm going to put the X on the outside. Now what is different is going to go inside. So what is different? Well, here there's A. Here no A. So I'm going to put A. Copy minus. Now here there's nothing. So I cannot leave an empty space like this. So remember, if there's no number in front, it's actually a 1. Okay, so this is 1. There's actually a little 1 here. And I'm going to go ahead and copy equal C. Now remember, I want to, so to solve for X. So I want X alone. So, I'm, so what is with X? A minus 1 is with X. And this is parentheses. What is parentheses? Well, parentheses is multiply. And I'm going to do the opposite of multiply. The opposite of multiply is divide. So this is x times a minus 1. So all of this a minus 1, I'm going to go ahead and copy it. I'm going to keep the parenthesis for now. And so remember, whenever you do an opposite, you need to copy to the other side. So I'm going to do divide, copy, parenthesis, a minus 1, parenthesis. Which one cancels? Well, a minus 1 divided by a minus 1, that is 1, and it cancels. And I'm going to go ahead and copy the, a, the x equals, what is c divided by a minus 1? Well, that's the same. So c divided by a minus 1. I don't need parentheses, so no parentheses down because there, there's nothing else there. It's only a minus 1. So there's my answer.